What's up guys? This is a hard video for me to do, man, because this this really touched me, man, because this is like one of my first experiences of professional boxing, you know, um, and this, 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 this brother, he's passed away. Um, his name is Lavander Johnson. I was real close to his family. His father actually trained me also, uh, was my f probably my first major trainer. And um, it was the first time I got a chance to look at the professional light, and I was in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I moved from Scranton, Pennsylvania, by way of <laughs> Philadelphia, in order to be a boxer. You know, I, was, I just got out of Job Corps, about 18 years old, and I said, I want to be a boxer. I was, I was learning about Joe Frazier, or Joe Lewis. I mean, I'm, I'm Joe Lewis, um, um, uh, 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 George Foreman was a boxer in the in Job Corps. And that really inspired me. So I used to train in Job Corps. And my, my last days in Job Corps, when I graduated, uh, I moved to Scranton, Pennsylvania with my father and a real good friend of mine. Billy Hurt, he had uh, saw some talent in me and he was like, yo man, you should go with my father at up in Atlantic City. And um, he's being trained by Bill Johnson, which is Lavanda's father. Well, um, I spent my next three years up there with them, man. It changed my life forever. You know, I miss all of them. And um, anyway, I had, um, I, was, I was 18 years old and this was in 2000, 93 and 96 was the Olympics coming up and I can remember you know striving to get in the Olympics and I, I them three years of me training I still wasn't ready on an Olympic level but I was able to be in the be in a fight with anybody I was that strong so they put me in the train they put me in the tournament man they I remember um, Tarver was in the same tournament I was and um in the, um, Dallas, Texas, I think we was that Houston, Texas. We went to the um, National Pile Tournament, and um, also in the Eastern Trials, the same one Sugar Ray Roberts, uh, Sugar Ray Leonard went through. I remember they was telling me about it. They was telling me to be proud because I was going in the same tournament Sugar Ray was in. You know, it was the Eastern Trial, Olympic Trials. So anyway. Um, you know, I did, in, I did okay in both of them. I never been hurt or beat up or knocked out. But I never won simply because I was, I, I think mainly because I was training with pros. And that's what I want to talk about today. Lavender Johnson and John Brown was the most influential pros I was working with at that young age in Atlantic City. And this guy, Lavender Johnson, was like, like a superstar. John Brown was also. And they both were so humble, man. They both was like so quiet, quiet kept. And you would have never thought Levander was such a star that he was because, you know, um, he was more, dis he did more discredit to himself because he was in the streets, you know. He was out there in the streets. He was the, like, I guess you what you call a thug nowadays. But back in the 90s, you know, it was just, it was just a young kid in the streets and caught up in the, in the way we used to say is caught up in the environment that you brought up in. You know, now Jokers is traveling all over the country just to come in the hood to be in the thug. You know, they wanna, they wanna go to the torch that way, but we was trying to get out of it. Well, Lavander was, was, was one of the toughest dudes on the street you ever know. You know, he had respect from the police to everywhere. So anyway, he was already making money, you know, up to like 100,000. You know, he was just that good. He had like, when I was, by the time I came there, he was like 19 and 0. With, no, he was 21 and 0 with like 17 knockouts, 18 knockouts, something like that. So that just showed how hard of a puncher he was. You know, I remember reading the paper. I used to walk up and down the, the boardwalk and pick up newspapers for boxing because it was boxing on like every other store. And um, it was, it was, um, an ad in there about him being the hardest puncher, man. I was like, man, I train with him every day. You know what I mean? I spar with him, you know, and I was strong. I was strong for a young guy, and I used to get with him. I mean, I had people tell me that I'm stronger than him. I swear by God, they told me I was stronger than him. But of course, I wasn't hitting people like he is because he knew how to fight. I didn't know how to box that well yet. I was just a tough dude. I could not get hit. I was, I was good at not getting hit. 
that was my reason I'm so defensive now is because I was, even though I wasn't being trained to be defensive, I had to be defensive to last with them guys up in Atlantic City. Just to spar with them guys, I had to be able to protect myself to a degree. And I had to be able to take punches. So that's, you know, on, on a footnote, that's one thing I like about, re respect about Mayweather. Even though he's defensive, even if he get hit, he's able to dog it out. He could take it. And you won't even see, Levander Johnson taught me how not to even show my pain, not to even show anything. Your face is so, just like this fight, that the first fight I'm gonna view on here with you guys is when he died. It's actually the fight that killed him. And you couldn't see the pain on his face. You couldn't even tell this guy had blood draining in his, in his brain. And see, I train with them and I know what he goes through and I know what he's do. But you know, I think the streets is what got him. Not so much the fight, you know, just the streets. And um, you, know, you, you know, them three combinations, getting old, streets you got to change up your style when you get old he didn't have that defense he didn't have that blocking that's the miss, missing element blocking everybody think defense is uh, one one thing but blocking is a whole nother thing in itself um nevertheless let's go to that fight man i, I really don't even want to do that fight man let's do some of his old fights man somewhere um let's see if they got some where he uh did I'm sure they do, but I, I, I can't even stand watching that fight because I used to fight just like that, and I would have died the same way because we that's just how we do. We was we was hardcore, and we was tough, though. This this didn't even look like the van. I'm telling you. This one didn't even look like him. Let's see. See if we could pull up something. Yeah, they did a statue for him, and you know, I ain't with the statues and stuff. That's, I believe that's idol worshiping, but you know, that's just how important he was, man. This dude was, and a real, I mean, not the, not no homo stuff, but he was a sweetheart type of dude. You know what I mean? And he was, he was the type of dude that ladies loved him. You know what I'm saying? And he was like. Grown-ups loved him, you know what I mean? He was just a real sweet dude. He just was so street, you had to keep your distance, you know what I mean? He wasn't nothing to play with at the same time. So, you know, um, so we can go in here. Levanta. Larry Oshie, I don't know who this is. But here's the old, old one, kind of where you can see Levanta when he was at his best, man. This dude... And he had skill too. His only thing he was missing is with 90% of boxes missing nowadays. And that's blocking. Sorry to say. And I say that and people still don't know what I mean. But it's all good. One day y'all see. But um, let's see if this video will come up. Julian Willie he fight. He fought a lot of name brand. Not lame, lot of name guys too, man. You know, Sean Bay Mitchell, he knocked him out. Um, 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 You know, he used to go to, I remember they used to go to LA and I don't even think Mayweather was allowed to spar with him back in them days. This dude was so hard, skinny old dude, was hard. It, it, uh, this was back in the way, back 93, 94, something like that. I remember they used to go back in um, maybe 95, 96 too. They used to go in Atlantic, to go down to Vegas and um, they um, didn't want none of Levander. But I remember they used to come back with stories. I don't know who this is. Where we at? Oh, let's see if they got them on here. I thought it said Levander. Oh, they showing Wheeler's highlights, I guess. Here we go. Here go Levander. And John Brown, the Eastern Beast, he was shorter than me. And he was another one on our team. He was the he was a captain. And he was hard to hit, boy. I couldn't hit that juggle with nothing. He's another one I, I owe a lot of my defensive pr prize from. Let's see what he do here. See that jab? 
Levander can box, man. He's a very, very good offensive fighter, you know, and he'll take a shot to knock you out. At the same time, he can move too. He can move his head very well. He got good uppercut game. He, he's a good boxer, but you know he does not block, and therefore you're gonna take punches, man. I don't care if you can move your head or not. You're still gonna get hit if you don't if you don't put your hands up. All right, let's see this. See that power to that body, man. I'm telling you, one time. And I used to hit him hard too. I used to hit hard too. And I, I mean, I, I wasn't, I was shy to hit him because I didn't want him to do some of his stuff on me. You know what I mean? So I used to just try to work with him. And he respected me. I was a young buck. But uh, this dude hit me one time, man. I, 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 was, I couldn't move, couldn't move for a man. I froze. He stopped and I stopped like, whoa. Why are you, Daddy? Yeah, I stopped sparring him after a while, after, after we grew up. I was like, yo, man, y'all gonna have to start paying me. Because they wasn't, I mean, I wasn't having all that fun. They wasn't letting me go to no fights and all that stuff. I was just on the sideline. Even though I dated his sister. I don't know if he ever knew that. But, uh, they ain't let me have all that fun. But you just can't help but the love to do, man. I'm telling you. It was just, just his personality. And his father, man. Mr. Bill Johnson. Let's see. See, his hands are so low. So low. But he's but he but he's composed. And he's a pro. He's been doing this so long, and he and he can move good. You know, the average person you could do that too, because they they both the other dude get his hands down too. See, keep dropping his hands. It's just a cat and mouse game in boxing. It it really ain't no for sure thing. Blocking is a for sure thing. You know what I mean? It pretty much ain't gonna punch through my arms. But uh, let's see. That snatch jab. See that right hand boy? He had a nice snatch jab. Wap, wap. I learned that jab from wap. He used to make a noise. Ha, ha, da, ha. Da. <laughs> you come in, you come in the gym in Atlantic City, Atlantic City Pow. That's all you hear. Ha, ha. Ha. Oh, GL. They called him GL on the streets. But in the gym, he was just Levander. Ah. Man, he had a nice uppercut where he'll switch hands, switch both hands, double uppercut. Oh my goodness. I think that's what he knocked on. Um, who he knocked out like that? Uh, is he with Sean Bay or he knocked the boy out who uh, Mayweather said was his toughest fight? The guy who got shot. What's his name? Uh, wow, he had a sad story too, man. He strived all his life, man. This, this is, this is what pissed me off. People like Levander and people like uh, Emmanuel Augustus. These guys work hard like workhorses. They entertained us for years. Some of the best of the best. They fought the best of the best. They put that time in, and then you got these jokers. Like, I ain't even gonna mention no names. But these jokers come and make millions, become super famous, and fight nobody. Nobody. Anybody can knock nobody out. That's that's ridiculous. Let's switch up on Levander. Let's see if let's see if he's gonna knock this dude out. He usually be knocking these jokers out by the 10th round and be over. He's so composed, he just be chilling. Wow! And then he just snap you like a snake. Grand, are you the, one of the best offensive fighters ever, man? 
when it come to when it come to punching power, composure, and 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 uh, what you call countering, this dude gonna tear your head off. It's just he didn't bring his hands back, man. He got hit too easy. Too easy. <laughs> See how relaxed he is? Oh, that jab gonna touch you. What? That jab gonna touch you. What? What? I know his rhythm, man. It's my rhythm. That was one of my first experiences of boxing, man. I learned all my stuff from him. You know, but uh. What about grandpa? Yeah, when I was a baby, grandpa taught me. But I'm talking about when I grew up. This is when boxing was simple, man, and, and and a puncher ruled the ring because no matter how many times you hit them, once they catch you clean, it's over. But that them days are over, man. There ain't no more, you know, uh, being patient, getting hit until you can knock somebody out. It ain't like that no more. That's why I'm not buying all these guys, you know, these new so-called superstars knocking people out with these um stupid fighters they fight Randy don't stop that's one thing you don't want to do is give in like that only way to beat somebody like the Van is you got to keep coming. I will out him, yeah, or, or, or he going to get you. Ain't no mercy. He going for the kill. Going for broke. See that? He, he, even though he getting hit, he can feel when you getting weak. Even though you, you landing punches, he's slowly but surely getting closer and closer to getting you because you can, you can feel his power when you're running, you're giving in. Even though you're throwing punches, you know, even when he got killed in his last fight, the guy had to do a lot of movement, a lot of movement. He didn't want to get caught clean. Because of Lavander, he's not going to quit because you're hitting him. And when he finally gets you, it's going to be just like he's just started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like he's that determined and that, you know, uh, that determined to land them punches. You know? See, he's willing to go through whatever. All he want to do is land that body right there. Them body punches, I don't know where we get them from, but them body punches work. I done laid a lot of people down with them body punches. I don't know if he knocked this dude out. Wheeler. Wheeler was a vet. Maybe he survived. Let's see if we can find another one.
Man, they ain't showing nobody else he fought. I want to see the one he fought, Sean, Sean Bay Mitchell. There you go, him and Emmanuel Augustus. He had a war with Emmanuel Augustus, but he beat him. Peace, you already ate, didn't you? No, oh, eating too much. Now, you know, I didn't know Levander was that tall, man. Didn't seem that tall. He didn't seem that tall when I was coming up. He used to get down that weight, too. I had no idea what, was a, what, what, what people was doing with the weights. <laughs> I just came in whatever weight I was for whoever. See Levander's attitude, he just eat up all those punches just to land his one or two punches. He ain't had to do that, but you know, he ain't know no better. It is what it is. But when he land his, boy, you know it. Yeah, Levander just took absolutely too many easy shots he gave away. And he could take them, you know, until, you know, couldn't take them no more, you know. But he beat this guy, man. I don't, I don't have the capability of getting right to the point. But uh, Levander ended up beating who the heck? That's Emmanuel Augustus, Levander Johnson for it. When I was 18, your daddy used to box with him when I was a kid. He was older than me. He, uh, he taught me a lot of stuff. But uh, Why are they he, fighting like that? He got a world championship and then he died because he don't put his hands up. Somebody killed him. How did they kill him? Punch him. You don't block, you die. Boxing is the most stupidest sport in the world if you don't block. That's why I say rock 'em sock 'em robots. Oh, that was hurt. How it hurt. That's who I used to live with. That was my one of my best friends' father, who I came down there with. How it hurt. Let's go back and see hurt. Big hurt. Man, I gotta, I gotta call him, man. Damn, time goes so fast. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna miss it. I ain't gonna see it. Amanda pulled that fight out, but he take too much punishment, man. They robbed him whenever they wanted to, too. He ended up getting the title, though. She watched the guy, the ball hit a guy he hugged. Watch, watch. See him? Mm -hmm. That's how it hurt. <laughs> I used to live with them. Dad. Boy, that's some memories right there. And that guy got shot by somebody in the streets. Why? Niggas, man.